The Tates are telling the truth, though, when they say there's civil cases available online to view, but they must be hoping nobody takes the time to actually read it because it makes them look terrible. It's a defamation case. It literally says in their court filings that Dustin Milner, the dude the Tates are so sympathetic for, committed suicide at the age of 35 while still in a relationship with Emma Gabby, who had yet to turn 18. Age of consent is 18 in Florida, and Dustin was 35 years old, meaning that the Tates are legally defending a pedophile. The case tries to victim blame Emma for this, saying things like, Dustin quickly became enraptured by Emma Gabby's mystic and seductive charm, which lured him into an extremely volatile relationship. He's 35, bro. He's the adult. What are we talking about? Emma Gabby knew which strings to pull to make him angry and would psychologically manipulate him by disappearing for days just after spending a long weekend with him, which manifested in self-hatred, eventually driving Dustin Milner to commit suicide. She ghosted him. That's it. It's the weakest shit ever. The lawsuit then names four other guys. 34-year-old M. Fisher, who continued to date Emma while she was underage. She says, I'm underage, and he stayed with her. When he got in trouble, he chose to admit abuse in court so he wouldn't catch a statutory grape charge. What's really suspicious about Fisher is he filed his own civil case against Emma, separate from the Tates, on July 4th, 2023. While conveniently only seven days later, the Tates would file their own civil case on July 11th. 2023, citing Fisher's case as a source, which just happened a week earlier. No coincidence there, right? Salam alaikum. <laughs> Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. <laughs> there is a storm coming because of this Andrew Tate thing, right? I told y'all that way back, right, way, way, way back, right, that non-Muslims will eventually start looking at this and it will start looking at the Muslims funny, correct? I said that way back, okay? And you will notice how these non-Muslims, how they like, what is the number one job that they like to take against the Muslims, like the, the Muslim haters, that is. We're talking about your Christian apologist, we are talking about your 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 so-called alleged Islamophobes. The number one job that they always when they have no other job to use, what is the number one thing that they like to talk about to try to discredit Islam? The number thank you. Kevdi he got it. Kevdi he got it. Aisha's age. Do you see where I'm going with this? Do you see where I'm going with this? Non-Muslims who have nothing to do, they don't even have a gripe against Islam. They are now speaking against Islam because of the Muslims' affiliation with people like this and their undying love and support for this stuff. Do you remember when the first thing that just pearly things, when she decided to come out and started to ask questions about Islam, what is the first thing she mentioned? She mentioned that she started talking about the age of Aisha. Remember that? And here come Muhammad Ijab to come to save the day. Remember that? We called that. We called that, did we not? So here you have your YouTube and that elites connecting with and running defense for the most despicable characters and public fi figures that you can find out in social media. They are running defense for Donald Trump. They are running defense for Sneeko. They are running defense for Andrew Tate. They are running defense for all these really despicable characters. And they are despicable characters. Y'all hearing me? And do you not think that eventually, of course, non-Muslims are going to try to make this connection here? A few moments later. He recently dropped a video not too long ago, and it was about Andrew and Tristan Tate. Now, the reason why I thought it was a great idea for us to play this video is because it kind of goes hand in hand with the Common Sense Skeptic and Jason Whitlock collab we're about to see, right? Because it shows this weird obsession a lot of these minus manosphere dudes have with underage girls, right? And we've seen interviews where Andrew Tate has actually let it slip, right? Oh, Oh, oh well, well it's a statute of limitations right oh 16 oh well, no no well that's that's in you know romania and all that you know it's 16 years old so it's whatever but well what's the statute of limitations here in america like dog you, you, hey, you she has to be 18 and up like what, what that's not even up for debate at this point but we've seen 
podcast episodes when they were on Fresh and Fit, when they were on these other obscure channels where they let it slip that they're not strange to having sex with underage girls, all right? And when we talk about an underage girls, I'm judging by American standards because Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate are also American citizens. So it doesn't matter what they do around the world, you're still held to a certain standard because you're American, okay? I mean, I know. You know, some Americans don't view it that way, but you're supposed to hold yourself to a certain standard when you fly to other countries, right? So in America, which you guys are a citizen of, it's 18, okay? So there's no excuse for any of this nonsense I'm hearing. But Tristan has also done videos where he brags about taking a 17-year-old virgin, right? Andrew Tate's bottom bitch, Vivian, potentially may have been trafficked since the age of 15, all right? Milk Bar did a great job mashing up a lot of these videos. One with guys like DJ Academics, who I find super cringe, relishing in dealing with underage girls or i'm i'm sorry young women because we, we we don't know you know the full context of these guys right i mean you guys are sleeping at this point but anyways i want to play this video first because it goes hand in hand with this one so guys if you're squeamish i say brace ears all right and, and the reason why i'm not surprised about this okay because listen his he's a muslim right he, he converted to islam and one of the crazy things about islam which is why i'm not really particularly fond of that religion you know because i'm nigerian and we we my, my country is being totally destroyed by that a bunch of jihadists and so i know i know like that how crazy islam can get right but one thing i'm realizing right because we always ask the question why is it that the tate brothers or at least andrew tate why is it that he became a muslim right Tico, why are these guys converting to you know islam what, what is going on here right and some people are saying it's for clout I, I actually think that's kind of on my top five reasons why i believe they converted to islam but i think another reason why they converted to islam and some of you guys who've read the quran you understand muhammad right muhammad is the prophet the, the special prophet of allah and essentially this guy had some or did some pretty crazy things all right matter of fact if you look at some research out there some might even consider this guy a potential geppetto all right and here's what i mean by this this guy all right in the quran okay <laughs> this is not coming from me or anything like that in the quran this guy muhammad all right marries a five-year-old girl all right and then he then lies down with her meaning they, they get into some adult business when she becomes nine matter of fact in the Quran, they basically have it listed as is, is she if she's able to menstruate, okay, she's capable of marriage. So just keep that in mind, all right? And maybe Andrew Tate has been dealing with underage girls before he converted to Islam, or maybe Islam, you know, pretty much kind of matched and also provides a religious shield against his practice of dealing with underage girls. So who, who, who really knows? But I've been doing some thinking about that, you know, with these guys wanting to have married multiple wives. You, you think about all these just weird, cheap reasons why they're trying to convert to Islam, or at least what they're praising about Islam. And realistically, I actually think it makes the religion look worse as a whole. When you have these bozos as influencers, you know, running around, you know, claiming your religion, but then in the background doing this shit, well, it causes people to do a little research on your religion. And when these bozos, and it's a when, not an if, when these bozos get convicted for trafficking, I'm going to tell you this, especially when you look at the trafficking of minors, hey, hey, all of you Muslims that accepted this bozos with open arms, right, and, and pretty much capped for them all this time, you guys are going to look stupid. You know why? Because then people are going to start reading the Quran. Because we all know Andrew Tate never reads the Quran, even though there are numerous pictures of him reading the Quran. People are actually going to start reading the Quran. And the first minute they find out that this dude likes to sleep with five-year-olds and he says it's okay, all right, to basically marry underage girls, well, guess what? A lot of people are going to start looking at Islam sus. And listen, don't get it twisted. Y'all think y'all going to take over. It's only happening in Western countries because they don't really understand Islam. To them, it's just another trend, like the, you know, the pet rock phase, whatever that we saw back in the day, right? That's what it is. Realistically, if you even look at Muslims in Iran and some of these really harsh Muslim countries that seriously practice a lot of the Islamic practices here, they don't like it. Okay, they don't like it at all. Matter of fact, there is just as much Muslims leaving Islam than they are joining. Paper gold. You see, black folks are chumps. If America were to tell you to bring all the rocks in this country to her and she'll give you a million dollars for it, you'll do it. And the next day she'll tell you we're using rocks for currencies, chump. <laughs> <laughs> 